need help. <laughs> Let us go on our feet and honor the man and the woman of God that did not miss the last thing, pass the last thing. Come on. Let me honor your heart with the truth. We may take off the early on his wife. We may take the guy with him with me, my wife. We may have to go. I don't need no people. Come on, I'm just a lie. Come on, say amen. 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 I'm just a lie. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands and get down some praise. I want you tonight to go with me to the book of Psalms 66. Quickly, Psalms 66. Example, you know, prophet reaches from the Psalm 66. And if you have it, say amen. Verse 10. Sometimes God, Psalm 66, verse 10. Sometimes God will have to put you in a position that where He can try you and see what you're made of. Because a lot of times, amen, we fail to realize, amen, that God has to make sure He can trust you. Can I get a witness on that? Amen. amen. That's why, amen, you find a lot of people today, amen, that's going so broken, amen, and their finances are just going away because they don't trust God enough to sow into God. Amen. They are so into everything else, but they will not sow and give it to God. Amen. And God, amen, is trying to mandate a breakthrough. He's trying to cause a miracle. Come on, but the only way you're going to be able to get it, amen, you got to trust God. Oh, can I get a witness to somebody? Hallelujah. Amen. The mother Jean, every year, amen, for the last few years, she always put together me and my wife birthday celebration. This year, they made the members want to act stupid. Come on now. Yeah. Oh, no, you. And God is saying nothing. Yeah. Sometimes church members act stupid, yeah. they get stupid, yeah. and they become stupid. Yeah. Come on here. I can't get no help up in this. Yeah. And you ain't got no reason pissed on them, and then they'll let us down. Yeah. Hey, man, it's so in the process of, hey, man, putting together my birthday dinner, we had to remember just for five and ten dollars, amen. And amen, and a few times, maybe one or two, amen. But amen, it's something that is a different when you got two or three or five members, amen. But if you, amen, got 25 to 30 people members, and, amen, and, and, and you just, amen, you, you got members. It's a difference you ain't got no members. But amen, but when you got members, can I get a witness, somebody? Oh, I can't get no help from here. Amen. And so they wanted to act crazy. And one night, mother called me up. She said, honey, son, don't even worry about it. If I have to take my car payment and everything else, I'm going to make sure you have a birthday dinner. Oh, I can't get no help from it here. See, folks can't understand why God bless those type of people. They didn't want to get jealous. Oh, I, know, I can't get no help from it here. They didn't want to act like somebody trying to take something from Uh-uh. You allowed them to take your pressure. Because you had an opportunity to be proud of the pressure. But you allowed them to get... Oh, oh I can't get no help from it here. And that's why, they man, we find ourselves going through. That's why we find ourselves losing. Losing our car. Losing our house. Losing the ability that God given us. Because we don't got nothing. Well, right. 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 Right
Let them, amen, prove themselves. Make full proof of your calling. Oh, I can't get no help up in here. How can you be an evangelist? Come on, I can't get no help up in here. How can you be an evangelist? Hello, you won't even go with your pastor nowhere with evangelizing that. Oh, y'all looking at me like that crazy. We get somebody it's time to get up. It's time to shake things off. It's time to put that devil to a flight. Oh, if I got a witness tonight, somebody ought to jump up and turn around and say, tell the devil, how you like me now? Even in our offering, our offering was so low last night. Hello. Amen. And I look at this beautiful place God has given this man and one of the time. Hello. Amen. Imagine what it costs just to run air conditioning. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. These light companies now look like stupid too. He like them to hire them your mortgage and rent now. Right. Right. You feel real stupid. You come here so hot. And you have in the Bahamas, they like they'll be so hot. They only cut their hair on in the uh, Sunday morning. Hello. And then you go in there and say, why? And say, I like them two or three thousand now. We can only run it once a week. Uh-huh. Hello. And that's why, amen, the church is so in a backslidden, backslidden, backsliding situation that it is because the people have the wrong mentality. Hello, that what God trying to bless, hello, He can't bless. We got to be able to watch God do it. You sit right here, brother Brad. Come on, say amen, somebody. We got to be able to tell your neighbor, say, watch God do it. Come on, tell your neighbor, say, watch God do it. Every pain that you're trying to go through, all your trials and tribulations, I want you to look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, say, guess what? I'm catching hell on my job. I'm catching hell in my home. I'm catching hell all over the place. We got to be able to say, hell, hell, hell. But you ought to tell your neighbor, say, hell, hell. Oh, y'all ain't saying, but some of y'all want to go to hell, because you look like hell, you talk like hell, you smell like hell. Hello. 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 Verse 10. For thou, O God, hast proved us. Thou hast tried us as silver is tried. Thou hast brought us into the net. Thou hast laid affliction upon our Lord. See, some of you today don't understand that since everything that you're going through, God calls you to go through what you're going through. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> 